<laughs> Lol. Hurry, what's up, guys? This is the following thing. Uh, got a new deck profile? Oh, uh, it's my, uh, what's this shit called? Mm, Mega Mewtwo. Alright, so here it goes. Pay attention, bitches. Alright, so you got Mega Mewtwo. Main attacker. Rex, bitches. Then you got regular Mewtwo. Rex, bitches, some more. Then you got Shaman. It draws, bitches. Another Shaman. Because we got money. We got Hoopa. Searches all these bitches out. You got another Mewtwo? Oh, this one's full right though. Because we got money. And now we got even more money. Oh, look at that shiny, shiny chestnut. Oh, Lunala. Uh, main reason why we play Lunala is because of psychic transfer. Allows you to um, do whatever the fuck you want with psychic energy. <laughs> That's about the best description I'm going to give. So hyper full art. Common, common, common. Evolution line for this babe. Tapu Lele. When that ass is so thick, you gotta play two. Searches whatever supporter you want. Heals, bench Pokemon. And has Lugia sh attack. So we play end. Shuffle hands. Pretty simple. Hollow is useful in this deck because you have uh, two Pokemon that have GX attacks. And so when you use it, it's basically a Sycamore, but without wasting your hand. All uh, Lysander, because nice Shaman. Sycamore, because Hala is inconsistent. Lily, because Jailbait. Skyla, because older Jailbait. Switches any items. Draws to late first turn. Kukui, smacks bitches for 20 damage. Ultra Ball. Searches these uh, things you called slaves. Technically what Pokemon are. They're just animal slaves. And we breed them to kill each other. Via Seeker. Because uh, Lysander says nice shaman. You have Max Elixir. Uh, the easiest way to get energy onto a Pokemon. A basic Pokemon of course. Pokemon excluded are... Uh, Cosmoan. Mega Mewtwo. And Lunala GX. Uh, Trainer's Mail. We've got to search those trainer cards. Really useful. Free retreat on Altar of the Moon. Because none of my Pokemon other than Cosmoan have more than a 2 retreat cost. So when you have a Psychic or Dark Energy, it's free retreat across the board. Nice. Parallel City because, well, the best card in the game. Nice board. Uh, Super Rod because generic stable. Mewtwo Spirit Link. My secret tag. No one plays this shit. Only I play it. Choice band, cause we're fucking hipsters on the bandwagon. So 30 damage uh, to EX and GX before applying resist, uh, before applying weakness and resistance. So potential one shot from anything. A uh, field blower because um, Mexicans need an excuse to work. Trump's in office now. So they're hunted down. Escape row, because gotta escape. Max potion, pretty obvious. With uh, Lunala GX, you can move uh, off the energy uh, on any Pokemon. And then just max potion, put it back on, and just max bitches. And then we play 11 energy. We're hipsters, we don't play 12. My friend uh, doesn't feel like 12 is important. 11 is just enough. That uh, pretty much sums up this Lunala deck, bro. Oh. Um, we uh, are thinking of making a Garbodor deck. But uh, I puke every time I think about it. It's uh, disgustingly cheap. And it works. It's kind of sad. I started playing Garbodor online. No one wins against it. It's stupid. People play a Lolan Tierno and then waste their balls and then I one shot their fucking Mega Mewtwo or their whatever the fuck they're playing. Cause, huh? Hey, don't, no resistance, your name's not Umbreon. Oh! So, anyways, that's about it.
Deck's pretty uh, down in the dumps, easy to play. You basically search this fucker. Then you play these fuckers. And then you play that fake ice cream ass. And then you do whatever you want. As long as you get Cosmog on the board and you start evolving it. Pretty easy. Most people still don't get the concept of what Mewtwo does. It's like, oh, seven energy? I can knock you out. Yeah, same. Bye-bye. Have a good day.